In the early 1800s, in New York City, there lived a woman named Julia Ward. Julia was one of seven children. Growing up, her family had a large library, and Julia enjoyed reading. She even became a very important author, writing her own stories and ideas. Julia was raised in the Episcopalian Church, but she became a Unitarian shortly before she married a man named Samuel Howe. Julia was a mother herself. She and Samuel had six children of their own. Now that would keep anyone on their feet. Even though Julia was busy keeping house and caring for their six children, she never stopped writing. Some of the things she wrote were about how marriage at the time wasn't very fun for women, which her husband didn't like very much. In 1861, the American Civil War began and Julia became horrified by all the fighting and death. You see, Julia was an abolitionist. That means that she was against slavery and spoke out about it. She even wrote the Battle Hymn of the Republic in the middle of the war, a song talking about truth and setting everyone free. In 1870, she wrote a proclamation called Appeal to Womanhood Around the World, calling upon women to speak out for peace. Our sons shall not be taken from us to unlearn all that we have been able to teach them of charity, mercy, and patience, she wrote. We, the women of one country, will be too tender of those of another country to allow our sons to be trained to injure theirs. The appeal to womanhood around the world later became known as the Mother's Day Proclamation. It is even in our hymnal, number 573. Julia called women together for a Congress of Action, and for several years there was in fact a Mother's Day for Peace on June 2nd. Around the turn of the century, however, cities stopped observing the day. It wasn't until several years later, however, that a woman named Anna Jarvis took up Julia's cause and led a campaign to make Mother's Day an annual holiday. Today, Mother's Day is the most heavily attended Sunday in North American churches, except for Christmas and Easter. In Unitarian Universalist congregations, we like to take this day to mark the contributions of all women and their work for a more just and peaceful world. Take a moment to think of the women in your life that you're thankful for today. Because you don't need to have six children, like Julia, or even any children at all. To mother someone. As we lift up Julia Ward Howe, let us remember her strong faith and her mighty words of peace and justice.